asking people to choose between NBA Youngboy and Trippy Red. So which one would you choose and what for what reasoning? Uh, I choose Youngboy, NBA Youngboy, because uh, Trippy Red due to my singing. Mm, NBA Youngboy, because what? his music just like vibe with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Trippy is just like, ah! All of that, and I'm like, sir, calm down, please. Okay, then. NBA young boy, simple. And why? Because he's the GOAT. Well, he's not a GOAT, but he's up there in the charts. Trippy Red, but. Why? I don't got a good explanation. That's... Trippy Red. Why? Because I just feel like his music is like for the soul. Like, you know? NBA young boy, tough, I guess. That's okay. <laughs> neither, neither. Neither why? They, 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 they suck. That's a hard one still. But I'm more say maybe like Trippy Red, even though I listen to both. Mm -hmm. Why would you say Trippy Red? He's like more versatile. Like Young Boy's now. He's just a he straight rapper. Trippy, yeah. he got vocals. Say Young Boy. Why? He better. Better Lyrical. how? Lyrically. Lyrically he's better? Yeah. I NBA Young Boy, because okay. he's much better. Mm, probably NBA young boy because he's more into the the game. Probably NBA young boy because Drew Bray is trash. <laughs> So me personally, I think NBA is the better rapper of the two. Even though I love Trippy Red, NBA is more lyrical and he's more catchy to listen to. Welcome back to CFN. This week we're going to talk about Army vs. Michigan and the LSU vs. Texas games. Army had 243 yards with a small sum of 43 passing yards, but on the other side of the ball, they ran for 200 yards. Meanwhile, Michigan had a total of 340 yards, passing for 232 and rushing for 108. Both teams forked over three turnovers apiece. The, end, the game also ended up going into double overtime, but in the end, Michigan still came up on top, winning the game 24 to 21. In LSU versus Texas, LSU had a total of 573 yards with 471 passing and rushing for 102, while Texas had a total of 530 yards passing for 409 and rushing for 121. LSU gave up a turnover but still managed to win the game 45 to 38. Tune in next week for this weekend's most interesting college football games. What's up, Tigers? No, we're not saying that. What's up, Tigers? <laughs> The name of the segment is the best tailgate food contest and we're about to go to the grocery store and get everything we need and we're going to be at the game tomorrow. We're at Kroger and we're shopping for our tailgate contest and oh there's a croissant. Let's get the croissant. What's up, Tigers? We're here at the first home football game, and we're here to serve some tailgate food to the coaches' wives. So let's go in there and see what they think about it. Oh, you go first. Okay. Hey, I'm Maddie Jeanette. I'm Mr. Grimes. I'm Savannah. And we're about to eat. <laughs> yeah. First thing I'm going to try is the buffalo slider. What do you want to try first? I'll try the pretzel. Okay. I'll try the uh, sausage. Okay. Mm. The buffalo slider is very good. This is good. It's got a nice little kick at the end. Not too bad, but I do need a drink. All right, and we'll move on to the next one. And I'll come back and finish that. The sausage ball is really good too. It has a little bit of a spice, so it's really good. Oh, I talked about the pretzel. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going with the pepper. I'm gonna try the. I'll try the pepper with you. All right. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna 
Yeah. No, what is happening? Okay. That's recording. really good. <laughs> the pepper's perfect. It's not too hot. It's got a nice little no, spice to it. It is really good. I don't have any bacon on mine, though. I'm missing oh, the bacon. Sausage ball. You can have mine. It's okay. I have good things. I'll try the pretzel. It's okay. Sausage. Very, very good sausage. Mm hmm. That pretzel's really good. Oh. <laughs> mine. Hold on, I hadn't tried the pigs in a bite. Oh, me either. Okay, this had what kind of topping? That's garlic butter. Garlic butter, okay. That's really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, everything I've had, very, very good. <laughs> favorite. We're gonna blanket. Right. My favorite's the pepper. I like the pepper. I'm gonna have to admit, my favorite is the pepper too. Um, followed by the sausage balls, the pigs in the blanket, the buffalo slider, and the mozzarella sticks. Hey Archer, today we are going to be comparing three different fast food chicken nuggets. Today we're gonna to be doing Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and Wendy's. Let's see which one's the best. To start off, we're gonna be trying Chick-fil-A um, chicken nuggets and we just got uh, regular chicken nuggets, not the grilled ones. Kinda of soggy. <laughs> so these basically just taste like the chicken sandwich but in like a mini form. Yeah. And they're like kinda of crispy around the edges with like the breading. Yeah. The breading's different on it too. Yeah, from like any other normal chicken nugget. It's like homemade kind of. Yeah. I think I it's like a little dry. I need like sauce or something, like Chick-fil-A sauce. Or a drink. Uh, yeah, or a drink will do. Yeah. Now we're gonna try the Wendy's chicken nuggets. It's just regular chicken nuggets. So these, um, they're like they basically all look the same. No, mine looks like a fish. <laughs> They remind me of like frozen ones. Kind of remind yeah, me of like McDonald's. You put in the um, oven, and they 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 taste more compact chicken like baker chicken. But they're, but they're actually, still crispy. Yeah, they're crispy. I like this better. I think. I don't know. I still think that the Chick Fil A one is better. But these are a close second. Yeah. And then lastly, we're gonna try the McDonald's. Out of all the chicken nuggets, McDonald's is the cheapest coming in at... <laughs> Wait, how much? McDonald's was $2, right? McDonald's was $1.69 for the nuggets. And for then, six. For six, and then Wendy's was um, $1.79 for six, and then um, Chick-fil-A was two forty-three For eight. For eight, yeah. But they're smaller. Yeah. Yeah, Chick-fil-A's is the smallest. So these have to be the crispiest in my opinion. Yeah, definitely the crispiest. But the the chicken ratio is different because Wendy's and um, uh, Chick-fil-A have more chicken in it. And the chicken doesn't taste good. <laughs> yeah, it kind of tastes dry. Like really dry. It tastes really processed. Yeah. Yeah, like Chick-fil-A is like real chicken and then it, Wendy's is kind of like Baked chicken and real chicken, but this is like you can tell like it's nasty. Yeah. So in conclusion, I think that my favorite was from Wendy's, Wendy's nuggets. I personally like the chicken um Chick-fil-A nuggets. Chick-fil-A. I would say I like Wendy's. Wendy's was like it just seemed better. Like more fresh, more chicken. Yeah. Definitely Wendy's. Yeah, I think it just depends on what kind of chicken nuggets you like. Yeah, if yeah. you want a chicken nugget that's more home style, then I would say Chick-fil-A. Chick but, but if you like a, like a flat, fast food nugget, I would go to Wendy's. Then yeah. if you want cheaper, just go to McDonald's, but that's disgusting, so. Yeah. It's up to you guys, really. So it just depends on how much money you want to pay for the chicken nuggets. So if you're on a budget, you sh McDonald's is not bad. But if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, you could go to like Chick-fil-A or Wendy's. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Watch it, six actual.
Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo 6. Going dark. Good evening, Archer. There is a difference between a remake and a remaster. A remaster is duplicating the original game, but making the game look better by adding modern graphics. Remaking the game is when the developer duplicates the game, but makes changes to the game, which could include graphics, servers it runs on, and certain changes to anything that the original game's design failed to achieve. But when the developer changes the major plot points of the game and makes it feel like a new game, yet still keeps the roots of the old game, it's called the reboot. To give an example, recently a reboot of a game called Resident Evil 2 came out, which was based off the original 1998 horror game. Hi, my name is Colin, and today I will be discussing the newest release of the Call of Duty franchise. Let's start from the beginning. On May 30th, 2019, at 3 in the afternoon, the official Call of Duty YouTube channel released a video call titled Official Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reveal Trailer. This video racked up 10 million views within a span of 48 hours and appeared on the top spot of the trending page on YouTube. As of August 13th, the video has a total of 31 million views. That many people can fill the Mercedes-Benz Stadium 443 times over. For more of a less confusing example is that this video has more views than the entire population of Texas and New Mexico combined. This game is going to be a reboot. In 2007, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was released. It gained 7 million players by January of 2008, it continued to dominate the video game world financially and socially for two years until a sequel was made called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which sold copies at a steady rate until 2013 when it reached its relative peak of 22 million copies. Another sequel was made in 2011 titled Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which topped the other two by selling 6.5 million copies within the first 24 hours of release. Modern Warfare 2 can be considered by many as the greatest out of the three because of its attention in the media and because of the musical legend that is Hans Zimmer at the soundtrack. All three of these games were known as the, one of the best first-person shooter game series ever made. The media attention toward a Call of Duty game has not been this high since 2012 when Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was released. Whether it be through YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, the hype for this game has been real. To summarize, the gameplay would be impossible because it has not even been replaced, released to the public yet. But the developers have hinted through Twitter and YouTube that the gameplay style will lean more towards being tactical and thinking about your every move in the game. This fast-paced tactical approach for the gameplay is new for the franchise and will turn the tables of how a player wins. But changing the genre to a tactical shooter game is something that will shift the gameplay more towards communication and planning more than running in blindly shooting everything. They will be implementing an environmental destruction system in which a player can open up more opportunities to attack or defend. Environmental destruction is a system that makes it feel more realistic. A prime example of using, use, of using environmental destruction to your advantage is the gameplay of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. In this ta tactical first-person shooter, you play as, as if you are on a special ops siege team where you are either stopping counter-terrorists from defusing a bomb by setting up traps and reinforcing destructive services at which the can, attackers can utilize in their attack, or you are playing to defuse the bomb, rescue the hostage, or take an objective. If all else fails, then you can also win by eliminating all of the terrorists. In order to win, both teams must utilize their communications and work together. From the looks of it, Modern Warfare is going to lean towards an approach like Rainbow Six Siege. To conclude, the newest release of Modern Warfare will be brought by millions due to pre-order st statistics. However, there is no telling how the players will like it. Financially, this was a smart move made by Activision, the company that publishes the game. Everyone loved the original games. No one can deny that people have been asking Activision to go back to their roots, to develop something that pleases the community. If the game exceeds the ex ex uh, expectations of the community, there is no telling what comes next for this franchise. This has been The Game Report. I'm Colin, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, it's Opie Love. Welcome to Archer High School Real Talk. And you guys know what it is, and you guys know what we do on here. Make sure you guys email so your questions can be answered on here. And also, if you would like to be on the show with me, the email address is the same. Let's get right into it. On today's episode, I have here with me... Your boy, Trey. First question. I recently just broke up with my boyfriend. And I wanted to know if you had any tips on how to stay focused on yourself and better your well-being. You just have to remind yourself that there are things that are way more important 
to be focusing on um, in your life, like if you're a senior, um, graduation, you can focus on, you know, graduating and applying for colleges. You can focus on things you like to do, try to find new hobbies, new passions. You can hang out with the girls. You can focus on loving yourself more, reading self-help books, self-love books, watching TED Talks, just trying to expand your horizons. Question two, opinions on gingers. Well, if you don't know a ginger um, is a slang term for a person with um, red hair. I feel like these people are very um, unique, you know. Um, most people have blonde hair, black hair, brown hair. These people have red hair, naturally, and it's, um, it's quite a fantastic specimen. What would be the one thing you remember about high school? Well, my, like, best high school memory would be when I um, kind of took a semester off and went to Nigeria. So I guess my best part would be not being here, but um, yeah, I learned a lot of new things, a new way of life. I experienced some crazy things. I have so many crazy stories from being there. And that was my second semester of junior year, but now I'm a senior and it's kicking my butt. Um, so. One thing I'm gonna remember is getting out this piece. Graduation, across the stage, to blue. I like a girl, but my friends don't approve of her appearance and think I shouldn't date her. What should I do? If you, you can't let what others say influence your decision about how you feel about someone. So, you know, if you feel like, oh, okay, I, I like this person, this person is a good person, I think I should date them. You know, who are they to tell you that, you know, it's about being an adult and doing your own thing. I mean, we're human beings, we're intellectuals. We're not a herd of sheep where we just follow the group. Like, you need to have the common sense and the brain capacity to make your own decisions and not let other people's opinions influence your actions. This is your life. You should use your own jurisdiction in life. You should not let the opinions of other people control you. I really hope that people really grasp this because it's just ridiculous that at this big, big age, we're still doing this. Minor. We're still letting other people's opinions influence our actions. So if your friend really likes somebody and you don't feel like they're pretty or whatever, you don't need to disrespect that person. And you don't need to disrespect the relationship because if that's really your friend, you'll respect your friend enough not to do that. Thanks for watching another episode of Archer High School Real Talk with your host. I really appreciate it, guys. Bye. Archer, welcome back to Arch Tiger Sports. Cross country JV boys won their first meet of the year, besting 12 other JV teams. The champs were led by first place finisher Zach, followed closely by Brendan Osborne. Other top boys were Tyler Myers, Jaden Gonzalez, and freshman Braylon Brooks. The sixth place JV girls were led by Kennedy Thomas and Kaylee Bruce. Competition this year won their first competition on Saturday. Varsity football defeated Spartanburg 49 to 10 on Friday. Shamari Campbell ran for 74 yards on nine carries while Renato Spivey rushed for 102 yards on eight carries. Tardy Peavy finished the night 17 for 23 with 219 passing yards. The defense finished the night with eight sacks and held Spartanburg to a total of seven rushing yards. Offensive Player of the Week was Ethan Lane. Special Teams Player of the Week was Jacob Waters. Defensive Player of the Week was Andrew Spearman. Here's Rachel with a few more facts about the game tonight. Hey Archer, our varsity football team is off to a 2-0 start, but the real test comes this Friday against Mill Creek. Carter Peavy believes in leading the team by staying true to his words and actions. Um, I think there are many types of leaders, but the two ways I try to lead on this team are one, lead by your words, so like 
encouraging your guys on the field, off the field, in the weight room, classroom, stuff like that. You've got to be verbally motivating, but then you've also got to lead by action, so you actually have to do what you say. Coach Dyer feels that the team hasn't been tested yet. Well, I think we've made a lot of strides in the last, uh, really in the last month. Um, we've uh, obviously still got a long way to go. We haven't really been tested yet. The team goals are making the state playoffs, winning the region champs, and winning the state championship. The players seem to feel that the team looks good for Regions and they're ready to play this Friday. Um, I think we look pretty good. I'm excited to see how we'll be in this next game against Mill Creek, but I'm excited with where we're at. I'm Rachel Evans reporting for Tiger Vision. Everybody come out tonight to Mill Creek at 7.30. It's in the on now. We are at Kroger. I Why did I look so scared? What's up, Arch? What's up, Archer Tigers? I'm Matt. Wait, restart, restart. My fault, my fault, my fault. I yeah, wouldn't be quiet. I don't know how to vlog okay, in public. Tigers. Okay. Can we oh, we get a call. Oopsie poopsie. What's up, Tigers? We're here at Kroger shopping for some food. You're for... making it so shaky. Ugh. Oh, they're top. Oh, my. Let's restart, bro. I, it's, oh, my God. I cannot say that last name. Or? Or the normal. Or the jalapeno poppers. What's up, Tigers? <laughs> it was so awkward. Oh, my face. What's up, guys? We are at Kroger shopping we for some groceries. We are at Kroger. <laughs> but it's whatever. Y'all know. It's fine. 